Here, Cookie, hold this. You pull want me to hold the pull, camera? Pull some stuff out of the bag. No, the no, no, I'll put you on the camera. Okay. So show him what I got. So he got this really nice. What's up YouTube, Logan here from J5 Studios. Uh, down here in the uh, Boca Raton area of Florida. And I don't know if this is gonna be a daily vlog or not. I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it, but I'm gonna go try out a place called Fresh Kitchen. Um, they've got some decent vegan options. Actually, a buddy of mine that lives down here has referred me to go try it out. So I'm gonna go try that out. And then I'm also gonna check out a local comic book shop in this area, I think it's called Tate's. So, I haven't really, like, been in the comic book game for a while, but I do enjoy a good comic book shop to check it out and see what they got. So, uh, yeah, let's go meet this dude and check it out. Okay, so here I am at uh, Old Fresh Kitchen. Here's my boy Cookie right there. Hello. All of his crap's up here for uh, just a little podcast. Known this dude forever, it feels like. Oh, yeah, and this guy. Bobby Portis? All right, guys, I really kind of don't remember what I got. Uh, there's tofu, mushrooms, there's like some sort of cauliflower, how about I just, does it say it on the receipt? No, it freaking doesn't. Hold on, does it? No, it just says tofu. What'd you get, Nathaniel? Got citrus chicken, green beans, rice, noodles, broccoli. Did you get coconut sriracha? Yeah. As your sauce? Yeah. Alright, Cookie's the, uh... The expert here. Man, uh, blackened chicken, barbecue chicken, Jeez. kale salad, uh, green beans, sweet potatoes. Man, I should have got the sweet potatoes. All right, boys. Let's freaking chow the frick down. All right, so review of Fresh Kitchen real quick. That was phenomenal. Bobby, how was your food? It was amazing. It was good Definitely. stuff. We're Cookie, recommend. Cookie went back inside to get a. Oh, here he comes, right here. Cookie, how was the food? Good as always, right? <laughs> Cookie liked it too. All right, now we're gonna head to, what's this place? Tate's. Tate's Comics. Yeah. We're gonna check it out, see what it's got. Probably I'm gonna buy something. Most likely gonna buy something. He's gonna buy something. Let's go check it out. Oh, sunshiny Florida day here. We picked a good weather day, right? Oh yeah. Man, there ain't a little bit, a little bit right there. All right. Oh, it's fine. So this is Tate's right here. Right, right, right. Zoom in on that. Right there, Tate's Comics. We're going to see what the frick they got. They just decided to make it a one, so it's the 31st anniversary here, and they got some big old scary faces here. Terrifying, actually. All right, Tate's Comics, we're going in. Thanks, Cookie. All right, guys, Cookie wasn't lying. This place is massive. Dude. Oh, okay, and they got like the higher end issues behind the counter too, right? What's this guy doing up here? Freaking Lord, man. All right, so uh, yeah, we got some uh, Japanese books here, whatever they're called. You know, I should know what those are called. Hang on. I think they're called like Maga or Mega or something like that. Hey, what's the Japanese books called? Manga. Manga, frick. Oh, I Manga. Question like how I say No, Manga. no. I couldn't remember what Manga, they were called. Manga, I just saw Howl's Moving Castle right here. The little dude. You like Studio Ghibli? Uh, no. What? No. Have you ever watched it? No, I have not. I have dude. It. You got HBO Max? I do. All right, so your homework assignment. Spirited away. Start there. Okay. You'll love it. And then go to town. Yep. And then be like, wow, I can't believe I went this long. How's Moving Castle is my favorite. This uh, is Astro also Boy. a good one. That's what I'm talking about. Astro Boy. Oh, look at that. Except for one. Astro Boy, right? Oh, man, these are thick boys, too. That's look at that. Freaking Mega Man. Frick. What year was that? Actually, this is. 80s? Yeah. 
70s, 80s, I think. You're an 80s kid, right? I am 80s Yeah, kid. you got a little bit of the 90s, too. I did. I got more 90s than I did 80s. So. I was 93, so gotcha. I was right peaking at, like, 64. <laughs> That's when I was, like, Banjo-Kazooie, man. There you go. Look, there's tons of this boy in here. That's so sweet. That is cool. So is that like a TV show? Yeah, comic? It's a TV show. Okay. Like a first appearance for him? Here's Mothman. A squishable Mothman. What is his first appearance? Do you know offhand? Uh, it's just Astro Boy number one, I want to say. They didn't put him in like an issue comic somewhere? Or? Not that I can recall. Ah, oh, this is cool. Look at this. Reprint of Godzilla right there. That's for the old Gare Bear. Gary's a big old Godzilla fan. I've seen the Godzilla display. Oh, look at this. Here's that goofy looking one. Look at that guy. That Kong. I have not seen any of the new ones. Me either. Well, I saw the first Godzilla, and then I saw Skull Island. I've seen Skull Island. Uh -oh. Skull I Island's pretty good. I did see Skull Island. Skull Island's not bad. Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> now we're getting into the Star Wars stuff right here. Now we're talking. Oh my gosh. Wow. Whoa, it's for sale. Sideshow collectibles. Yeah, it's only 7000 bucks. I think this is what I'm going to get, Cookie. There you go. Didn't have it any other way. You think about somebody just comes in here and they're like, yeah, that's what I want, actually. I wish I knew more of these first appearances. Thrawn? That's Thrawn's? That's, is that Thrawn's first? That's no, that's his standalone. That's just a standalone? Yeah. There's a High Republic one. What would they put Thrawn in first? Probably a Hail to the Empire? Well, this is Alpha. I know that. That is. That's cool. First appearance of one of my favorite characters, Jax. That's the rabbit, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is actually a pretty good story arc. If you've yeah, never yeah. read it, it's it's fantastic. Well, we got these are. I just saw some tactics, but oh, here we go, dude. I love these so much. Man, these are in good shape too. I have a boba. And these I little have figures. Chewbacca. I've got a ton of these. Got the little freaking gonk droid up there too. Love that little guy. You got a boba? I do. 150? Dude, these things have gone up a lot. Really, really horrible. You got it. It's not meant? No. Not do the, do the, hey, do the everything, feet. Everything. 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 Everything's all loosey yeah. on it. Yeah. I love it. It's probably the one from when you were a kid. No, I got it as a gift. Someone gave it to me as a A-OK. -okay. Dang. Yeah. One of the guys in the comic book community. They even got Slave Suit Leia stuff right there. You don't see that very much anymore. Disney's kind of saying no no to that Watch stuff. Up. Yeah. Ooh, they got a sail barge. Look at that. And the Razor Crest up there from the Has Labs. Still sealed. Dude, I wish I would have bought like a million of those. <laughs> like, it's one of my biggest Who's regrets. Well, dude, because they were freaking like 400 bucks. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh,. I was going to touch it, but it's just not to. And uh, I didn't buy them. Man, these two. This is like the, uh, the statue one, at yeah. Lucas Films. Oh, yeah. Me too. One day. One day. Yeah, it's on my list. Definitely on my list. Yeah, and then they got the old Power of the Force. This is when they were all jacked. Look at Luke there. I have a few of those as well. <laughs> these are what I had. I had a ton of these. And then, of course, I had these because, you know... Episode one was it, man. I had this as a kid. Oh. That Naboo fighter? Yeah. I don't think I had that. And I had um, Anakin as a kid. So. Kid Anakin. Yeah, they eventually. Trouble, just hang on. They they eventually got, dude. And this is always the big thing everybody talks about oh, yeah. too, because he's got the freaking blue lightsaber. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Well, he didn't have a lightsaber yet. How much is that bad boy? Seventy five. And they used to have, I think they redid this figure, but this was a very valuable figure for a while. Look, here's the sneak. This is what I was talking about. Here's the sneak preview of that as well. 
and more slave suit Leia. These right here, like I love these. I collected all these. They started adding them as like Empire yeah. for like originally they were Attack of the Clones, and they started adding all the the other oh, movies. Yeah. And these, I used to hide these underneath the the shelves at Walmart, so I could come get them the next week. Yeah, when I get like an allowance. Hey, Bobby. How you doing? doing what you seeing? Just looking at these Marvel comics. These are reprints. Just so you know. Okay. So like, this is not the actual Hulk 181. I have the Hulk 181, but this is not it. It's got the little tag here. You got to do what you got to do sometimes, man. I bet you they have a Hulk 181 in here, though. I would almost guarantee it. This is actually a reprint of Deadpool. Hey, here's the first appearance of Deadpool. Really? Originally. And then there was Domino. But it actually wasn't Domino. It was like an impersonator. Not a dude. And then this was Gideon. I'm serious Gideon. What about Beetlejuice, Cookie? You like Beetlejuice? I do. I didn't see the new movie. I haven't either. I have two. I've heard real good things. Man, this freaking comic book shop is crazy, guys. Got some Batman comics here. This was a weird collab they did a while ago where it was Batman. Well, it was like DC characters with Looney Tunes. Like, here's Batman and Elmer Fudd, which is just kind of weird. There's a Crisis book there. It's also a really good series to read. <sighs> Man, I'm going down memory lane of comic books. And I believe these are some new ones here. Are these new issues? These are. I'm looking for a couple of new issues. Oh, frick. Look at this. That's it has cool. Beta Ray Bill homage cover. That's your boy, isn't it? Yeah. Old Beta Ray. All the homages. And I haven't been doing any new comics at all. Dude, I haven't bought a new comic in... I gave them all up. Got rid of my polis. Yeah. I miss it. I ain't gonna act like I don't miss it. But uh, I don't miss spending like fifty to hundred dollars a week depending on what was out, dude. It's an expensive hobby. People don't people don't necessarily know that. I ain't seen any beta ray. There's a Daffy Duck. Oh, was it like the, um, did Disney do something with that? Because I remember they were doing that for like the 100th. I know what you're talking about. I'm all out. I'm Bet you if you ask them, they have it. They might. There was a lot of those I wanted too, the Disney ones. You want one? Here's two of them. Here's actually a few of them. That's it, bro. Dude. All right, well, I think I found what Logan's going to get here. Yeah, dude, look at this. They even got the freaking Fantastic Four cover here. It's got Pete as freaking the green swampy thing. I don't know who that was. I like the Hulk one. With the Goofy, that's cool. I'm, de I'm definitely going to get this Donald Duck. Oh, look, and they got Spider-Man up here. Is Mickey. Here's the Avengers. Of his first? Yeah. 85 and 75. New stand variant? New stand variant's less valuable? Probably in better, worse condition though. I wanted this comic so bad for so long. It's here now? It's a, like pretty much the first strange. $200, man? I think we get tore up in my luggage. That's cool though. Here's your first Gambit. Here's your first Gambit. Here's your first uh, Cyborg Raven Starfire. First He-Man and Todd McFarlane cover art for Spider-Man. A lot of Spider-Man keys actually are in this. Here we got Miss Queen Halloween right here. There's her first appearance. 1986. And then here she is with Santa Claus. Because, you know. Why not? Why not? We found the Ninja Turtles. Look at them Ninja Turtles, dude. I love these. 
We also got some X-Men over here. Got some road covers up there. This is the first Mr. Sinister right there. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, Days of Futures Past goes without saying. That's such a good storyline. Probably my favorite. It's missing 141, though. Yeah, it is. It is, but I like this cover a lot better. Yeah, it's because I like the Sentinel and I like the Wolverine. And it's a good looking cover. Is this Tobey Maguire Spider Man? Yeah, it definitely is. Figures, statues. Got some uh, children's books here, it looks like. Ooh, they got Fraggle Rock stuff. That was not on my bingo card. I didn't think I was going to see Fraggle Rock stuff today. You got some pens? Right in there. Oh, frick, Cookie. Oh, they're even Disney pens, dude. Oh, no. All right, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear me when I put my camera up here to show this, but there's a 2,000 pass holder pen up here, and that's 100% that's going home with me here. Uh, right there. That's mine. That's going home. Check this out. This is definitely something that I would consider buying if I had more room in my luggage. But it is also $90. But got the Muppets here. We got some Back to the Future stuff here. Uh, Duck. No. A what? I don't want one. I have one. Where are they at? <laughs> Let me see it. I'll show it. 7.0. Whoa, look at that. Man, that's actually not a bad price for that, unless I'm just totally out of the game now. But I feel like that's pretty good. Man, there's a TMNT second print back there, too. All right, we found all the high dollar, high, the high high uh, wanted co comics here. Giant size X-Men there. Bro. There's an X-Men 4. Wow. That cover's torn, but still. I mean, it, it's an X-Men 4 at the end of the day, right? Jeez, man. Alright, so basically this is like a toy show. <laughs> like, I feel like I just went to a toy shop like this up in Cincinnati. But this thing's even kind of more extreme. They even got G.I. Joe's in here. Look at this. I don't know if these are good prices or not, but I know somebody that will. So let me let me highlight one here. Uh, this guy right here is fifteen dollars. Leave a comment if that's a good price. Also, has anybody ever seen that old Kablam cartoon? And they had the uh, they had those action Action League Now. And they had the guy that melted Meltman. Pretty sure that was him. Pretty sure. Upstairs, you got some artwork here. Got a lot of artwork. What's going on, Bobby? But also, we get a good shot of the whole store from up here as well. So you can kind of see the size. Man, oh man. Yeah, this was pretty freaking cool. Alright guys, so Tate's Comics. I ended up buying, you know what? Let me, let me show you. Here, Cookie, hold this. You pull, want me to hold pull, the camera? Pull some stuff out of the you bag. No, no, no. I'll put you on the camera. Okay. So show him what I got. So he got this really nice porno. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Look at that. Boom. So that is a pin from 2000. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. For an annual pass holder pin. That's super dope. And then, you know, show him my, Come, let me get up show him my other stuff. I think I already showed this comic, but I just want to show you guys for sure. And boom. A little homage cover. Is that three? Is it three forty? It's supposed I to think be? it's probably close to three forty. Three forty. If the, not, the be Todd McFarlane. One. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. Thanks, Cookie. Absolutely. You didn't get anything, did you? Nah, I just took a lot of pictures. He just took a lot of pictures, and remember the time, right? Yeah, man. Okay, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Cookie, really appreciate you showing us Absolutely. around town. Absolutely. Great meeting you finally. Yeah, After man. Years of talking to each years, other. Years, years, years. <laughs> I don't know why I'm fist bumping you. Just because just, just I want to. Alright guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, all that bull crap. Till next time.
us about something about movies. Got something for you. I want the throne. Is this my little gun down or not? Right now we gotta put that behind us and get this done. There's a dinosaur in our backyard. 